fascinating. You're... You're the Grim Reaper. What... What brings you here? Indeed, I am the Grim Reaper. But don't mind me. I'm just here to spectate. Spectate? Spectate what? This. The Realm of Fog. More specifically, the White Rabbit's work. <laughs> I was quite intrigued when Medicus chose him to be the next Shinigami, the God of Death. And now to see the Realm of Fog in person. <laughs> Must admit, I'm quite envious of the White Rabbit. Envious? Of him? How can you be envious of a psychopath? The White Rabbit is a murderer. Every day, he finds us, he tortures us, he kills us. We feel everything. And then... We regenerate, we come back, and he does it again, and again, and again! This is our eternal punishment, and you're envious of him? What did we ever do to him? Why are we in the realm of fog? What did we do to deserve this? Well, <laughs> besides betraying Silver Spawn for a bigger wallet. <laughs> but let me give you a little trivia. Demon Black Ops. That way, you'll understand. Where do souls go when they die? Um, the afterlife? Yes, the afterlife. Very good. <laughs> and obviously, you know, good souls go to the good afterlife, while the bad ones go to the underworld. Use your brain for this one, Demon Black Ops. What do you think happens to the remaining souls that don't go to neither of those places? Uh, the other afterlife? <laughs> the other afterlife, he says. Honestly, even Mr. Ghostface would have gotten that one right. No, you fool. There has to be balance between life and death. And of course, there's one in between. You can call it Limbo. Or, in your case, the Realm of Fark. This is where those lost souls go. The ones that don't make it up there or down there. They find this place, the Realm of Fog. And that's where the White Rabbit is in charge. Here's a little fun fact for you. Demon Black Ops. Few years back, the underworld had no ruler. So, souls who were killed and were evil went down there. But there was no ruler, so they were by themselves, which made it easy for most souls to escape their prison and do whatever it is they're gonna do. But, when the ghosts reawakened, all that changed when they recruited Foamy the Clown for the job because they knew he'd be perfect for it. He's psychotic and he won't let anyone get in his way. So they gave him the power to rule over the Underworld. Many lost souls went there, the evil ones. But they still had to make more places for those souls who are in between. Honestly, Purgatory was made a few years back by Medicus, but it was empty. He originally wanted to use it for Nosferatu, but that never happened. <laughs> and then this place was eventually created by the White Rabbit once he died, thanks to Foamy the Clown who gave him the idea and so the Realm of Fog was made, and that gave the Ghosts and Medicus a great idea. Let's put 
these lost souls in the realm of fog and have the white rabbit eternally punish them as his job. <laughs> of course, there's the question of purgatory. What are we going to use purgatory for? And then that's when Krampus attacked. See, purgatory. That's where the baddest of the bad go. That is what the white rabbit watches. It's what he does. In exchange for the souls he collects here, he also protects purgatory to make sure those bad guys don't escape. It's his job. It's what he does. He will forever do it that way. Wait. So you're telling me that you're not here? To help the White Rabbit? You're just here to spectate? And we're gonna stay here forever? That's what I said. And the White Rabbit doesn't need my help. He's a more higher rank than even me. I am a mere Grim Reaper while he is a Shinigan. The same rank as Dr. Metacus. This place truly is fascinating. Well, my time here is over. Tell the white rabbit I said hello. I'll be sure to come back real soon. Enjoy the realm of fog. <laughs>